One of my favorite facts about one of Donald Trump's lawyers, Susan Michellis, is that one of her former clients was the notorious New York mobster Benny Eggs. And I will, I will just assume and presume that old Benny Eggs was not attacking the judge. So Donald Trump is at right. this point outdoing actual mobsters in his attacks on the judge's families, the daughter. And he's doing it to the point that Lawrence made. He knows he will never spend a day, a second, a moment in prison. But for me, there is something wonderfully poetic about the fact that despite the fact that even if convicted, he's not going to go to prison. The first person to actually criminally prosecute Donald Trump is a black Harvard grad, the very kind of person that his former staff, the people who worked for him, Stephen Miller, et cetera, want to never be at Harvard uh, Law School. But he was. And he came out and graduated. And he's prosecuting you, Donald. And a black woman is doing that same exact thing in Georgia. And a black woman forced you to pay a hundred and seventy five million dollar fine. That's out now also in question because the people who put it up, that might not be legit. Donald Trump is being held to account by the very multicultural, multiracial democracy that he's trying to dismantle. And for me, there's something poetic and actually wonderful about that. It hmm. says something good about our country that we're still capable of having that happen. Go DEI. My DEIs are bringing it home on today. Hmm.